Great YouTube world, we found Yvette. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. Great, well we're up here in Camden, we're catching up with everyone. Um, mm -hmm. This video is gonna go on YouTube, you're aware of that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so what brings you to Camden? Well, I was born and raised in Camden. You know, um, family came from Puerto Rico, and Steve, my mom got pregnant in Puerto Rico, had me here, and this is where I stayed. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this part of town? Um, I'm originally from East Camden. Okay. Okay, but I lived in South Camden, which is this area right here. And I was in North Camden for a little bit. And um, West Camden, which is divided like East, so it's really East Camden. Mm -hmm. So you've been all around Camden? Yes. So is this the uh, desirable area? It's not the desirable area, but it's the desirable area for me because Right here is where everything is at, you know. Um, so, yeah, it is the desired area for the me. The downside to that is right here is where everything is at. Everything, so this is where everything. Have the shootings and the yes, everything. And, yes, and, yes. You know, mm -hmm. the troubles here as well as the convenience. Right? Yes. <laughs> um, so currently, you you have an addiction, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And what's your addiction? Um, it's called chasing a dragon. Is when you mix the heroin and the crack cocaine together and you smoke it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Now, do you feel anything from it? Are you still getting anything from it? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I do. But um, half of the time you don't because, you know, the stuff gotten so bad that um, it's terrible. Um, I just want to tell you real quick I had got locked up uh, last month and when they took my urine, they found everything but heroin in it. They found methamphetamine. Uh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> methamphetamine. They found Xanaxes. They found Molly's, which I never popped a Molly a day in my life. And two other substances that I can't pronounce. Like, you know, and um, I am planning to go away. I do want to go away. But I'm like really scared because, you know, I stayed 24 hours in jail. And, um, you know, the withdrawals from, it's supposed to be Fetty, which is not Fetty. You understand it's way worse than the withdrawal of heroin you know and then like you really have to wait because you know when when you try to get help they really don't know what to give you because it's all this stuff mixed up in one you right. understand right. so right it's not a single thing that you're right to. right so to get you off of 10 things takes yeah. more than one thing exactly um, exactly i guess the biggest thing is time yes I mean, really if, you, if it's a waiting game and you can handle the waiting game mm. then I, eventually you'll clear it all but, um, so what are your withdrawal symptoms? Oh boy, um, now that I'm older, um, uh, uh, the back pains, the stomach aches, the muscle spasms. I mean now, like I said, uh, it's, uh, it ain't heroin no more, it's fatty. Like you actually go into your, the bathroom on yourself. You understand too, I had to wear pull-ups a whole week because it was coming out like water. You know, um, if I knew then what I know now, would I have messed with it? No, I wouldn't have. You know, but um, you no, know, we we bump our heads a couple of times, and you know, we keep it moving. So, you know. what originally got you started on this path? Oh, is that a story? <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Give me the okay. <laughs> Real quick. Okay. Um, I was about 18. Uh, found this girl in my boyfriend's car, my baby's daddy car. Anyway, I went after her, she pulled off, I got hit by a car, got dragged two blocks, and my foot was like a chicken, like you know when you break a chicken wing? My foot was actually on that side. Anyway, I was in the hospital for six months. They had me on morphine. Uh, when it was time to go, uh, they, they uh, detoxed me a little bit, but not completely off, where uh, they had me on perks. My father was, I mean, excuse me, my daughter's father was, uh, he used to sell heroin. So at that time, I thought it was cocaine. All right, so he was like, E, I'm telling you, if you take a little bit of this, you'll feel better. Okay, I took a little bit, like a little, little freaking uh, uh, limp ball. I threw up, all right, I put my black boot on and I was cleaning the house and everything. So that bag lasted me a whole week. So I get up and I call him. My daughter was six months at the time. And I was like, yo, E, like I have to go to the doctors. I have the flu or come get the baby or take her to your mom's house. So he's telling me, well, I mean, do you feel like your back hurt and, and uh, 
the, the cold sweats and I said yeah so this man came out and said guess what you dumb B you have a heroin uh, addiction now let's see where you're going because at that time when I was in the hospital I was gonna leave him you know so um, he stayed around the apartment to help me with the baby so I guess that's what you call a trap for almost 11 years you know so yeah that's what love do to you I guess get you hooked on heroin for you won't leave so the transition from heroin to fentanyl mm. what, what is that like oh um at first, I didn't know it was Fetty until they, you know, the, the, till they told me, you know, but, um... You didn't notice any difference? No, I mean, uh, yeah, you do, you do uh, notice a big difference. It is a big difference, but, like, when you're sick, you just want that in you for you can feel better. You understand? So, I mean, it took me a minute to actually realize and understand what Fetty was, because to me, it was still dope, like, you know. But, um, it is a big difference. The sickness is... 20 times worse than heroin um, I will go through oh my god through 60 withdrawals of heroin before I go through a minute of uh, Fetty it's terrible it's really bad so what, what's your plan going forward do you have a plan of yes I have a plan we have a uh, I call her Miss B she's a few blocks down where you know um, the Brenda. right okay so uh, you know I, um, we go over there I believe it's on Wednesdays Cause I, look, I'm so messed up. I don't even keep up with the days and the time, or you know, the week. So when I do catch her, um, my plans are to go away to a, a detox first. And I had told her that I need a a long term program because a short one is not going to do it. You know, send me somewhere where ain't no cabs, no nothing. Cause I know as soon as I feel better, I'm back on the streets. Cause I'll be fooling myself all e. You could do this, you got this, but deep down inside, bro. Like, I know me, you know, I need a long-term program. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's gonna, right now she's helping you with Yes, yes, like that, right? yeah. Oh, no, I have, I, you know, thank God that I have all my identifications and things like that. So, um, you have insurance? We, huh, yes, I have insurance. You know, um, believe it or not, I, uh, I just left work. I uh, used to work at a medical daycare, and after that, I was at the nursing home. But, you know, with the epidemic, that was an excuse for me to fall back and get this free money, which is sad, because that gave me more time to do what I had to do, you know, and... So, how come you can't just go into rehab? I mean, we can call one up and get your bed today. Really? I mean, like, I mean, I would have to get... To no, no, it's not. no excuse, hon. I, I would have to get detox first. Right. Like, if, if they be like, yo, E, I have a, a, a detox right now for you. Bro, like, I will really go. You understand? But I'm not going to go if I have to do cold turkey. You know, I'm not. I'm 53. Yes, I said my age. <laughs> 53. And I can't handle it like I used to. So if we can give you a bed for a detox, you're ready right now? Yes. I mean, if it's a detox and, and like, they're not going to have me wait, you know, uh, two and three days to give me anything for my withdrawals, yes, I will go. So what we're hearing is they do see the same day. Like within a couple hours. Really? All jokes aside. All jokes aside. And where's this at? Uh, down in Bridgeton. Bridgeton. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that area. Uh, Salem I, County. Salem? Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard. Uh, yeah, I heard about that. That's like going towards uh, Woodcrest and all that, right? Towards Vineland. Maybe. Oh, Vineland. You've heard of Vineland, right? Yeah, yeah. I so heard of Vineland. It's towards Vineland from here. Okay. Um, we actually have the number on the whiteboard. You could probably give them a call and probably get in. I mean, we've, we've been in contact with them and they could probably get you in really? today, today or tomorrow. Well, yeah, we could do that. So, we could do that. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll grab one of our cards and I'll drop the number down. Okay. And, you know, you can get yourself, I mean, a lot of people, they don't have ID or they don't have insurance or they're mm -hmm. waiting on their ID to get insurance. Right. And that's a hold up. But if you have all your cards yes. in the right place, mm -hmm. then you're ready already already. Yes. Then let's do it. You know? Okay. You know? no, no joke. I'm for no real. Joke. Like, I'm really ready because, like, Miss Brenda, she's beautiful people. And it ain't that I'm scared because I'm not scared, you know. It's just the wait. And, like, if I have to wait till next week, next week is another week and another week and another week. Like, you know. Right. But, um, yeah, give me the card and I will call them right away. All right. Right away. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today.
hopefully, you. Uh, hopefully you follow through. We're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey everyone, please consider donating to our Patreon. A little bit goes a long way and we will love you forever.